This is Jenna, and she has something I've been after for quite some time. My tiny deck of cards. So Jenna has this little charm necklace that contains the smallest cards I've ever seen in my life. Possibly the smallest in the entire world. Now, I've memorized a lot of cards in my life, but I want to memorize the smallest one. So where did you get this thing? By the way. Um, I found it. I did a search for it. Um, I'm not sure how I discovered it. I must have found someone wearing it on Instagram or something. But obviously there were no tags, no like sources. So I kind of just did a crazy Google search for like 14 karat, tiny deck of cards, charm. And um, yeah, I found a couple on Etsy and I think I got this one off eBay. But um, I think it's from uh, the 50s, I want to say, and it's, oh, so it's, it's, like, it's vintage. It's vintage. <laughs> yeah. That's what vintage means, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you've never checked if all the cards are there, right? I have not. I'm too sure. scared to, to, <laughs> to touch them, but they're, they're in there. There's a bunch of little thin yeah. all right. little baby cards. So we counted all the cards to make sure that they were all accounted for and we counted exactly 52. Although one was a joker and there was no seven of clubs. We got all the cards in order now. The only one, like I said, that was missing was the seven of clubs, but we just made that whatever the joker is since there was only one joker, which was very strange. All right, so for those of you wondering how I'm gonna approach memorizing this deck of cards, the answer is like I always do. PAO, person, action, object. Um, I have a more complex system, but I don't think I'm gonna bother with it here. I'm just gonna do three cards per location in a memory palace. And then, yeah. Any questions, Jana? How long is this gonna take you? <laughs> I don't know, a few minutes, a minute? No, you can do this in like 30 seconds. Yeah, but we'll see, these are very small. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep it PG on my channel, okay? So now we verified all the cards are there. I'm gonna have Jana shuffle them, basically move them around with the tweezers, and then I'm gonna memorize them. No rush, just gonna memorize the smallest deck of cards in the world. Is it brighter? No, it's all good. Are you sure? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good, actually. Okay, here we go. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. Starting from the beginning, uh, we have seven of spades, three of diamonds, ten of hearts, four of hearts, king of clubs, um, queen of diamonds, nine of spades, uh, six of diamonds, uh, ace of spades, five of clubs, jack of clubs, three of clubs, seven of clubs, or the joker that we said. Um, ace of hearts, two of diamonds, nine of diamonds, seven of diamonds, three of spades, five of hearts, ten of clubs, ace of diamonds, um, eight of hearts, three of hearts, seven of hearts, king of spades, six of spades, nine of hearts, queen of clubs, six of clubs, five of spades, nine of clubs, jack of hearts, king of diamonds, two of hearts, queen of hearts, two of spades, five of diamonds, eight of diamonds, ten of diamonds, queen of spades, Four of diamonds, four of clubs, 
King of Hearts, Two of Clubs, Ace of Clubs, Eight of Spades, Six of Hearts, Jack of Spades, Ten of Spades, Four of Spades, Eight of Clubs, and Jack of Diamonds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else to do in this video other than that. So, thank you guys for watching. Check out Jana's stuff. Her, uh, what's your, what's your stuff these days? <laughs> um, if you're interested in fashion, travel, and uh, cool things and music, playlist Great curated. Great taste in music. Curated playlists every month. Check out JanaRose.co. Check it out, and uh, I'll put her link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, please share if you like this. And uh, thank you all for supporting me. See you guys later. I'm out. What is your greatest memory of us? College. Why am I thinking of like a concert we went to? And of course, when you were in New York and you visited me and, and you were doing the oh, memory championship. Yes. Okay, you need to hold this. So in 2009, my first memory championship in New York. I was living in Chicago. I decided to make the trip to New York to try and compete. I didn't win. It was my first competition. I think I ended up 13th or something. And I stayed at your place. Yes. Because you lived in Upper Manhattan. East Side? Upper East Side. 103 or something? 88th and Lex. Wow. Way off. Okay. Um, but I remember going and you were like, what the hell is this competition? I didn't know anything. I remember, didn't I tweet? I did my first, one of my first tweets ever that said I'm competing in the memory oh championship. Gosh, I think yes. I did it from your computer. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, I met Ben Pridmore there. He was just visiting at the competition and I remember walking back from, what was it, uh, Union Square, yes. all the way up to your apartment on the phone, like t calling anybody, maybe even you, my mom, yeah. um, just telling everybody how awesome the competition was and that I was gonna like compete and win it. Yeah. And that was that. Mm -hmm.